Boat ramps. We use them to put our boats in all the time, but not everybody actually thinks of them as a fishing spot. But boat ramps are excellent fishing spots all throughout the year, but in the fall they can be really good too. And one of my favorite ways to fish them is with a football head jig. And the reason why is you've got a lot of stuff down there, not just the, the concrete, but boats, they wash out you know, limbs and rocks, and they usually have a little buildup of some hard type structure down there. And that's what you think of when you're fishing a football jig, is that hard structure on the bottom. So it makes it a really easy way to present a crawfish or bluegill presentation. The one I'm fishing right here today, this is an exclusive MTB bait. This is the heavy metal tungsten football head finesse jig. It's got a, a kind of a lighter wire hook than you'd see on like a really big finesse jig. So that's good, you can fish it on lighter line if you need to. And tungsten, it's always better for, for bass fishing. You, you can fill the bottom a lot better. It presents a smaller profile, especially when you're finesse fishing, it comes in really handy. So I've got a little craw, craw trailer on here. I'm gonna throw it on some of these boat ramps and see if I can get a bite. When I'm targeting a boat ramp, I like to stay away from it with my boat, just because when the boats are putting on the trailers, they're usually using the motor to really push out uh, a lot of water and it's going to create a divot down there that's often a pretty good ways off from the boat ramp so I'll position myself pretty far out that way I can make a good long cast and drag it starting at about five feet of water where the boat ramp is and drag it out until I start feeling that little lip and often that's where you'll see the bass will be sitting right there and they'll be waiting for bait fish crawfish anything to wash over that and a lot of times I'll catch fish when boats are actually on the boat ramp and pushing things out. That's often when they feed, but anytime you have wind on there, it just creates a, a good little area for stuff to get stirred up and bass always like hanging on a hard bottom. And one of the things I really like about fishing football jigs is they're just super easy to fish. You basically just take your rod and you drag the bait on the bottom. There's not a lot of working with the reel not a lot of hopping like with a flipping jig it's really just dragging it and when you feel a good piece of cover when you feel yourself run into something that's when I just like to shake the rod tip a little bit if I don't get a bite I'll just start dragging it again you're really just sweeping it along the bottom and waiting till you you hit something that's really got some substance to it and that's when you want to work the bait more that's a nice fish right there got them pinned right on the top top of the mouth right there that jig man that's a jig fish right there ah, that one's been caught before see on the side a lot of times what happens on these boat ramps too your local tournaments they'll actually they'll catch fish and they'll, they'll let fish go in marinas and around the boat ramps and things like that so you might just pick up some fish that have just been caught in a tournament so whew, that feels good Fishing can be hard, but make it less hard on yourself. You can subscribe right here to the Mr. Tackle Boss channel. There's other videos as well that'll advance your knowledge and take stress out of your life and make you a happier person.